Kiss Empties video is provided to you by Coco! She's like, what the hell are you doing? Hi. <laughs> Say hi, Coco. Hi. <laughs> oh, I just, I feel like I have so much footage of like Maple, but Coco's the old one. Coco's the one who's, who's are you gonna be 10 years old? Are you gonna be 10? That's real old. <laughs> no, she's like, <laughs> okay. So I had to get Coco in, you know, this portion. Hi. She's like, why you let me go now? But today's video is going to be my empties video. And yes, I'm wearing the exact same thing because it's the exact same day for my other empties videos. But, um, you know, hopefully I break it up a little more so you don't catch it. But you probably aren't going to be like, recognize it now, now that I've said it. I also just got my nails done. Um, and I love them! They're so cool! Oh my god, Coco. <laughs> She's like, hello, pit me. Um, so, I'm haven't gotten like nails in a long time so it's kind of like a getting used to process all over again so i'm like touch 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 they're also quite sore because you know my nails are pretty healthy and they go through quite a beating when you're getting nails so they're just like <laughs> they're sensitive right now and i think that's why it's adding to the getting used to it but i did go to work today and it was so hard typing i was like And I think people were just staring at me like, what is wrong with this girl? I made a mistake by holding on to Coco because now she wants to be pet. But we're gonna go through my empties video. I am going through a phase where I'm just trying to use up everything that I can. If you guys are keeping up with my channel, you guys know I have a pretty big move coming up and I'm not really repurchasing much. I mean, I have bought a little bit of like stuff, but not repurchasing things that I kind of just use like every day and like organically it gets used up. So yeah, we're gonna, that's what you're gonna see a lot of today and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. The thing that I just finished off two days ago was my Batiste dry shampoo with a hint of color Divine Dark. It is the only dry shampoo I really use because I do have dark hair. I do have this other one that's not tinted but it does blend in really easily but other dry shampoos that I've tried that don't have like some dark hue to it definitely leave a white cast definitely super hard to blend out and um i don't really use dry shampoo that often now that i have like this new hair routine at least compared to like a year ago so i don't have to use dry shampoo that much unless it's like between the washes where i'm using a co-wash and so a co-wash is basically almost like conditioner but um you're basically just washing all the product out of your hair, but you're also like reintroducing more moisture. Um, and my hair does get greasier a lot quicker when I use that. So that's when I do use dry shampoo. So I'm not using as much as I used to, which is a good thing. But um, side tangent aside, love Batiste dry shampoo with a hint of color. Will repurchase when I need to. This is the Misha Time Revolution, the first essence. I'm filming. I have purchased this before, and so this is my second time using it. It is another great step, especially in the winter time where you just need like one more layer of moisture. I've definitely used a lot of like my normal winter skincare here as a full time thing in Arizona because it's so dry, and it has been working out for me pretty well, but um. It just kind of sucks because I feel like my winter skincare routine is more expensive because I have to invest in more products, heavier products, nicer products, and like it like the rest of the year I can get away with like less. But here in Arizona, it hasn't been the case unless I want to look like a dry Saharan desert, which I don't want to. Um, but this is like a good essence. I always get it from Amazon. I want to say it's like thirty dollars. But it does last you quite a bit and it's like water. You just, after you put on like maybe like your treatment for like spots before your serum, this is like that middle like in between set. So I guess treatment depends 
um, on what type of treatment you use, but I use like prescription treatment that's more of like a, it just like goes right into the skin. So I'll do that first and then I'll use my essence and then I'll do my serum and then I'll do my moisturizer and then I do an oil and it really just adds more to the skin and I really do love an essence. So if you're struggling with dry skin, definitely see if this, I like this one specifically. I am trying the Sunday Riley one right now. I don't know how that's working for me yet because it's still like kind of new but this one i know it's tried and true so um we'll repurchase eventually but just not right now okay this one's a doozy this is the mario badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water we don't like this anymore this has fragrance fragrance is no good it probably dried my skin out just a tad bit but i wouldn't really like apply it directly onto like bare skin i would just do my makeup and then just so like it looked a little bit more blended and seamless and a little bit less powdery i would then spray this i have another rose water i'm currently using i don't know if i really like rose water for that i rather just use a setting spray because i'm kind of using it like that even though it's not like helping the longevity of my makeup but just to take away some of that powderiness and um sometimes it comes a handy in handy a little bit if like i need to just freshen up a little bit like freshen up the makeup after wearing a mask for so long um but it just depends on how wrecked my makeup is but yeah no okay this is the mix chicks morning after redefining foam so i definitely have been experimenting with a lot of hair stuff recently um i go into phases where i care about like different things and like i'm really like zone into the zone so i did purchase this um when i was in like my hair phase and this is kind of just like a redefinition foam it was cool for travel so like if you needed to like refresh that idea was that you would just like pump it out foam just scrunch it up and it would kind of like reactivate everything um i didn't find that it really did that i feel like just spraying water and adding more product helped a lot more than this but um you know it's oh i don't know what her name is i think her name is jesse i don't know she's like a curly girl here on youtube i'm probably gonna forget i i think her name is jessica or jesse or something so i re i bought two recommendations this is one of them i just finished this quickly because obviously it's a travel size but it's very expensive for like what it is i think it's like 16 dollars or something like that and it's like I said, it's a travel size, and um, just no. So I won't really repurchase this, because it didn't really do much for me. I also ended up finishing a Mario Badescu Rose Hip Nourishing Oil, again with the fragrance situation. I just wanted to use this up, and I used it like in my makeup, so um, I'll add it to my concealer, I'll add it to foundation, and I kind of used it up that way, but I didn't think it was very good as an oil. Um, I definitely think there are better oils out there, and I, like I said, we don't support Mario Badescu because of everything that they put in their um, skincare that just is counterproductive, so I won't be repurchasing it. And there is like the Ordinary has better rosehip oil that isn't full of fragrance, right? <laughs> Although I don't see fragrance on here. I mean, it might be on here, but I'm not really looking at this right, but yeah, I did finish this up, and it's, I'm so glad. It's just less visual clutter and I've been like probably talking your ears off of how much I hate my current situation in regards to visual clutters and that was like one of the items and the spray that I was just like aggravating to see <laughs> but I was like forcing myself to finish. Um, out the door top coat, love it. It's half the price of Szechuit. Um, and when it's like new and fresh until like the halfway point, this works great. After the halfway point, it just kind of just doesn't work the same. So then I just like retire it to like strictly toe polish um, and not like hands and nails. And then just like Sesh Beat, you can't get all the way to the bottom. It just gets too goopy and thick. And I do have like thinning drops, but I just find that it makes the product not work the same. But I love it for five bucks. I'll repurchase this over and over again. I do have Sashweet right now and like I said, I'm not repurchasing anything. So again, you won't see this for a while. I have a travel size La Roche Posay Tolerian Tolerine Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I have a bunch of like travel size La Roche Posay items and I think it's because I've gotten them over the years from Josh's mom who's a dermatologist and 
I'm just kind of focusing also using up like a lot of the little stuff because that's also like a lot of like clutter and I'd rather move with like one big thing than like a hundred little things so I'm trying to use up all the smaller stuff first again I apologize if you can hear my siblings in the background they just love to yell for some reason because they're video game people and they just like I don't know <laughs> like if they can't really hear like how loud they are but this voice like how no this not this voice this house has like paper thin walls so like you can hear everything and if the camera's picking it up I do apologize um so yeah finish this up have a couple more I do have the the giant size of the gentle foaming cleanser in my shower right now this one I'm just gonna declutter because it just doesn't work for me this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation it's just so dry it never looks nice when I put it on it looks worse throughout the day it's not like the original naked foundation which is what i was hoping this was gonna be um some people gave it really good reviews but i think they had more oily skin and like i said i'm a dry skin girl this is not gonna work for me so i'm just gonna throw it away i don't know anyone who is this skin tone and i can't pass it along to anyone but i have used i'm gonna say like a good third of the product and i think that's enough for me to like be like no why torture yourself more like if you don't like it just throw it away because life's too short to have bad makeup and i feel like i always have bad makeup when i wear that last couple of items here i have a lip balm this is the bird's bees lip balm it's one of my all-time favorite lip balms um it's just a good lip balm. It's minty. I repurchased the two pack. I'm very happy to have Burt's Bees in my life. I've had like other lip balms and they just don't compare to Burt's Bees, honestly. And it's nice and cheap and it gets the job done. I have the ColourPop Brow Boss. This is in the shade Brunette. This is okay. It's not my favorite. I feel like the, like it has a tiny bit left and like if I screw it up it pops up but like then it goes back down so it doesn't do much wait there's still a little bit let me just like fill my scar are you gonna fill there i was able to fill it a little bit but i don't know see with brows i'm like very particular because of my scar so it's like if i try to cover it up then it looks like it's too thick like in comparison to the other brow but then i don't like how the bald spot is there if i don't cover it up so it's a little bit of a struggle to find like a good brow product. I never thought I had good brow days with this, but it was enough to like do my day. I didn't feel like, oh my God, what my brows. Um, but I just didn't think like, oh my God, best brow day, like she's gonna destroy the world. However, I do have another one because sometimes you just don't wanna use your destroy the world brow products. Um, like who, like, I don't know. When I go to work, I don't wanna use my destroy my, destroy people brow products where it's like wow you know they're not worthy of those props so that's where this one comes out in because it's good and it's cheap and it and does the job so i have another one but it's not my favorite you know what i mean okay and the last item is the Too faced peach perfect powder this was like a deluxe size that i got in like a point perk um i hope i haven't talked your ear out of, ear off about this product but it's okay um, I can't really bake with it because I feel like it leaves like a weird peach undertone. Um, it was a nice setting powder, but not my favorite, so I wouldn't like go out and purchase the full size. But um, if I ever had it in my possession again, not by my own free will, I wouldn't mind using it up. And that's the spiel on that. So that's it. That's all I have for now. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to use up more things before I make the big moves just so um, there's less stuff to move with. I got my money's worth and I'm really not like repurchasing much like skincare and like other little hair items because I just, there's no point of it right now. So yeah, that is that. Thanks for watching. I don't know what else to say. Um, Coco's right here next to me, knocked out. I think she finally gave up because I had to film this video. Um, so yeah, I will see you on the next one. Bye!